He didn't get more Pokeballs. Oh my gosh, Alpharad! <laughs> Bro, you and these Nuzlocke challenges are killing me. You forgot to buy Pokeballs again. We've all done it. We've all made that mistake. It's happened to all of us. But oh my gosh, Alpharad is just like the worst at losing encounters in Nuzlocke's. This is how I survived a randomized Nuzlocke by Alpharad. Let's hop right into this and see what we think. Ah, uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke's. Home to the kindest comment sections known <laughs> to YouTube. Recently, I attempted my first Nuzlocke, True. and I'd like to think it went well. No matter what other people might say. But if you don't know, Nuzlocke suddenly make this baby game of Pokemon suitable for Harvard graduates. It's essentially permadeath and fire emblem, but the swords aren't necessary. <clears throat> Sorry. Outside of permadeath, there are a few extra rules, like how you can only catch the first Pokemon per route, and others that I will simply put on screen. But the biggest difference of this adventure compared to the last one is that this one will is be completely randomized. randomized. Let's go. Every Pokemon is replaced with another at random. Some make the game easier, and some make the game harder. Even our starter could be absolutely anything. So as usual for this journey, I was in a Discord call with some friends oh, as they no. watched me play, and just for fun, I let them guess out of the 386 options in Pokemon Emerald, who was going to be my starter on this randomized journey. I don't know. Um, Groudon. Which isn't a bad guess by any means. I mean, everything's equally likely, but I mean... Oh! 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 You know what? I'm not even going to look at what the other ones are. I'm taking Groudon. <laughs> <laughs> on that so That's so funny. The game with the level 5 Groudon. And well, I this run just got easy immediately. For the first Pokemon battle in the game. Spoiler alert, uh, we won. Since Jome happened to be the one who somehow predicted Groudon, I decided to name him Jome Din? Jom Don? Jome Dome. Sure. Upon nurturing a little Dome. baby Groudon, it was time to destroy the hopes and dreams of a rival who, unfortunately. So here can be a big problem with randomizers. If you don't add extra stuff that makes it more difficulty or more difficulty more difficult and you don't take away legendaries they can get really easy really fast like he pulled a grout on this run could literally be a joke because he has grout on especially if he doesn't have level caps if you don't have level caps this is going to be a super easy run i'm sorry but that's the that's one of the problems with randomizers that's why if i ever do a randomizer which like i'm doing right now on my second nuzlocke channel you know if you want to check that out come to joe's nuzlocks i have a level cap and I have more poke or more trainers added to gym leaders and important battles. Um, and I have a few other things to make the game harder. And I'm probably going to use a level booster in the future as well. Because if you don't and you use a legendary, it just makes it so easy. And I personally don't like using legendaries either. I think they're just too over overpowered, especially Groudon. Good grief. Did not have a legendary as a starter. It's kind of funny if you think about it. Because it's like, what if our rival was doing a Nuzlocke too? And if they were... They're not doing a good job of it. So one match. They had a later, good Pokemon. We they had a Snorlax, and they got wrecked. It's now time to catch because our you first have Groudon. companion in Cyndaquil, and oh. we're out of Pokeballs. Luckily, Whoops. Pokemon Emerald is a pretty generous Nuzlocke, as we get three chances of encounters right off the bat. But the hardest part about having a legendary starter is that his stats are too damn high, and it's impossible to weaken anything without killing it. Yep. So we needed an assistant. We needed the catcher. Who immediately lived up to his name as we entered Route 102, and the catcher caught the catched. We had a few early battles, but ultimately we also had Groudon as a starter. But a broken starter can't fix a broken home as we confront our absentee dad who gives more attention to the strange green-haired kid who is definitely on Twitter still posting about national decks. We had some <laughs> scary encounters as anything that can explode yep. is considered a scary encounter to me. Upon entering mm -hmm. Hillberg Woods, we were greeted with the perfect specimen. War Turtle. Wow, War Turtle's surprise, sprite looks really ball. bad in this game. Did you see that? That looks so ugly. Ugh. Yikes. With Captain Kid in the call and ready to give me excellent advice oh, just no. like last time. Instead of, it's time for Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, the terrible <laughs> advice that he gave oh, last yeah, that's time. That's I was going to say give the Quick Claw to Mewtwo is because uh, if you could proc Quick Claw and then have the flint. What did I say, Brayden? What did I say? Well, despite that, I offered to name our Blastoise to be after him. Wow, nice. Nice. We get a Blastoise. Yeah. Okay. Brayden, you want this named after you, right? Absolutely, yes. The first obstacle in this run was a Absolutely, random yes. who happened to have a level 9 Swampert. 
I know drought is active, but I was terrified. Still a little scary. A single water move. And he only knows tackle. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice okay. try. One force no later, and move. we're now in one of the many, many double battles that Pokemon Emerald loves to throw at you. In the future, when Groudon learns Earthquake, these battles are gonna be a breeze. Assuming I don't accidentally kill Captain Kid. Yep. Da don't kill your own Pokemon. Because now it's time to focus on the Rustboro gym. So let's do a little bit of grinding. Easy clap. So when we get to the gym. We can just ignore everybody else. She's like, hello, I'm yep. Roxanne. How the fuck you solved that puzzle? Roxanne started with an Omanyte, retreated with a Machop, and got desperate for a Growlithe. That gym was At least he wasn't cake. super overleveled there. I know I probably got one of the best starters I could have had, yep, but like, you did. Roxanne could have just had Kyogre. I know my luck has been, uh, some might say, historically phenomenal. Bowser's chance time. Well, what? It, well, it, what? Uh, Jacob just uh, just doesn't lose anything from Bowser. Wow. So just how lucky <laughs> can this Nuzlocke run be? All right, guys, new encounter. Here we go. Oh, I, feel it. I know this I is a huge get. That. Yeah! Oh! Absol's pretty good. Yeah. My favorite Pokemon of all time, Absol. Monochrome, Crescent Moons, little cat thing. <laughs> What's not to love? Recently, I actually made a tier list of every Pokemon in existence, and Absol is sitting up right there on top because this run is so. We ran out of Pokeballs. Oh no! Which brings us to our he second. He didn't get Absol. Who happens to have? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Why are you holding a Wingle hostage? And just to assert dominance <laughs> over a rival who's already ruined their Nuzlocke attempt, we decide to entertain the optional battle just to see what they have. I wonder what the Yo, Oh my are. god, no way! Wow. I can't believe I, it. That's... So how? Honestly, I'd much rather have Mudkip over Groudon. Actually, by saying that out loud, I could have just played Emerald normally. Well... Almost normally. <laughs> Onward to Duford, and we are ready to get a brand new encounter in Granite Cave. Yo! Uh, oh, baby! That's Yo! Really cool. <laughs> Yo! Oh, my God! A flag on his top five on my list, and one of the strongest Pokemon in Hoenn. So far, this run just cannot get yep, any. Flygon's pretty solid. I forgot He's to gonna, get more Pokeballs. He didn't get more Pokeballs. Oh, my gosh! Alpha Red! <laughs> Bro! You and these Nuzlocke challenges are killing me. You forgot to buy Pokeballs again. We've all done it. We've all made that mistake. It's happened to all of us. But oh my gosh, Alpha Rad is just like the worst at losing encounters in Nuzlocke. Oh, uh, you're killing me, off. dude. This is fine. Uh, we probably didn't need Flygon anyway. Lost two of his favorite Pokemon because he didn't Steven have Pokeballs. Stone gives us a TM and we head straight towards Brawly at the end of a maze that I somehow memorized. Wow, I wow. The sad thing is, I'm, I'm honestly shocked you remember. He that. probably doesn't me, need dude. them because he has crap. I will not fall for a single puzzle. Yo, uh, what's this Pokemon? Gulpin. Joe? Gulpin. What's up? I just wanted to see if you knew what this Pokemon's name was. Well, his name's Gulpin. Sadly, this run was <laughs> far from perfect as we happen to lose oh. the catch, but thank God the catcher will replace them soon enough. Brawly's ace Gyarados was a little scary, but he got Jome domed as we spammed ancient power. We left the gym to go to a funeral in the nearby hospital, which is kind of fucked up if you think about it, but you know how normally in Nuzlocke runs, death is supposed to hurt? Well, this is fine. Our next destination was Slate <laughs> yeah. Force, but more specifically, the. That Pokemon hurt goes away Slate after Force, you do so enough of them. We miss out on, I don't know, another Flygon. We went to the museum to stop the Aqua Raid, got the TM for Thief, which will come in handy later, and then defeated more Aqua Grunts, who luckily didn't have a legendary this time. New encounter right here. And, 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 I have Pokeballs. This what are we getting? For sure. Oh. Oh. Honestly, not bad. Like, good not bad? Decided to join the call, and it Crobat right is so good. Crobat after him. Brendan, our rival, challenged us yet again with a brand new team since someone apparently keeps murdering all of his Pokemon or something like that. Anyways, this battle quickly Hariyama. came to a close as he murdered all of his Pokemon or something like that. After making it to Marvel <laughs> City, another friend joined the call and another friend wanted a Pokemon named after them, so... 17. This is the coolest Pokemon you've ever seen. Check it out. See it. Oh, no. This is Cade in all of his essence. <laughs> there I am. Yes. Oh, oh swallow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, yeah, good. Baby. Wow. Here we are at the third gym. Wonder what electric types Watson will have for us today. <laughs> oh, okay. Articuno out of nowhere. That's not. That's not Pikachu. Watson then threw out a corefish where. I, 
I, I don't know how, but this little Pokemon managed to land five protects in a row. Oh, my <laughs> oh. God. What a legend. That fifth protect had a 6%. I actually like Corefish and Crawdon. It's probably just because of the like anime like goofiness of it. Uh, but I actually like Corefish and Crawdon. They're actually cool pro Pokemon in my book. He still lost. <laughs> Fine, I lost. <laughs> He's like, shit, I, I didn't know y'all got grout on. After that, <laughs> for some HMs, we continued our journey with some choice encounters. Yeah, that's up. not fair. I feel, I feel something big here, something huge. Oh, oh so oh, good. No. So I guess you could say things are going well. But Alpha Mints. Well okay, new encounter, oh, no. new encounter. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, the two best Pokemon in this game that aren't okay. legendaries. So finding a Beldum might seem fortunate, but allow me to um, um, actually explain why it's It not. is terrible until like you get one catch encounter for route, and I've essentially wasted this entire encounter on Beldum because this little bastard possesses a near impossible catch rate. For example, it is more likely for you to get accepted into Princeton twice. So what I'm trying to say is that you would have to possess phenomenal luck to be able to catch this Beldum. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. And he so caught it. Yep. Dude, this, is a this reminds me of his Nuzlocke with Jaden. He got absolutely ridiculous encounters. He just killed so many of them, but he's catching them this time. He's got Salamence, Blastoise, Crobat, Groudon, <laughs> Gross, and then, you know, Swalot is meh, but, it, you know, it's at least a bulky poison type. Minimize Nuzlocke, and they just gave me this team. Oh my gosh. I really gosh. thought this game was going to be a challenge, but I no. looked into an impossible team. Nah, randomizers can honesty, be so easy. <laughs> how could I possibly lose with what life has handed me? Oh, no Sometimes way. God has Does he lose? Us. What can I say? Groudon was even offered to learn bulk up, but like, do we really need it when the whole world gets jome owned by a single earthquake? <laughs> I think we'll be fine. It can't hurt. He doesn't need to bulk up. He's already bulking. Meanwhile, on top of a volcano, I guess, Archie is talking about his plan to meet Groudon, unaware that he is moments away from having his entire team swept by, you guessed it, Groudon. Groudon. With another yeah. Pokemon gym right He's literally the running through the whole game with Groudon. I peep in, murder every living creature in the vicinity, say hello, and collect my fourth gym badge. <laughs> if anybody ever asks me why we don't play with legendaries, this is why we don't play with legendaries, because literally if you get a good legendary, it can just run you through the whole game with it if you want to, which is really boring. That's why we also do level caps. That's why we also add Pokemon to trainers. And that's why in the future, we're probably going to do a level booster. <laughs> Which was clearly a great Because I like challenge. randomizers Hopefully because then you can't scout every possible thing about the game and, and it makes you nope. make decisions on the uh -uh. fly and I think makes it nope. more fun. At this point, I genuinely do but not know how we can lose. This team might as well you have, have to make big mistakes the gods themselves. And it's the exact team I would have made when I was eight years old. And even what we had sitting in the box wasn't bad. This run has been so incredibly mindless, yet so incredibly fruitful. Just like my entire channel. <laughs> 9.4 billion subscribers. Uh, subscribe for more. <laughs> Please. I'll wait. Okay. After defeating Norman, it unlocks new Marvel, which is essentially worthless for us outside of a free encounter named What is Murphy. this I'll wait thing? I've seen this on like several different channels now. Is this like a meme or is this like the new meta for what you're supposed to do when you tell people to subscribe? It seems weird. It seems like weird, like dead air in your video that you don't want. I think just putting a button up or asking someone to subscribe is probably good enough, but I don't know. Which Obviously, awesome they're the ones dude. with millions of and subscribers, we'll and I'm not. The rest so. of their life sitting inside of PC. With the shell gone in hand, our only goal was the top. It's just like the third or Coming fourth time I've seen swamp, it this week. We were here to take back the weather company, and after defeating the Aqua Admin, the weather team. Ooh, what did we get instead of cast form. form? But this is a randomizer. Uh, they gave us Char the Charizard to be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure. And if you want to see what an unsuccessful Nuzlocke looks like, allow me to reintroduce you to oh, Brendan, no. who is leading with Farfetch'd. I mean, yeah, he has other Pokemon, but I have Groudon. Nearby yeah. Fortry City, we caught it a Magneton. Which is not bad. Revealing Kecleon as... Who cares? Yeah, that sucks, but, then we but it doesn't matter anymore. another nearby Kecleon as Crawdon, which is a fair backup if Captain Kidd ever happens to burn and perish. It was just a matter of what do we name him? A cab. A cab. All crabs are bastards. <laughs> then we had to take out Winona, which if you've watched the rest of this video so oh, far, good one. you know how this ends. It yep. ends with Groudon. Every battle in this video will end with Groudon. And that is a promise. And now it he's overleveled, I think, at this point. At this point for it to go any other way. But upon entering Lily Cove, 
I made an incorrect decision to challenge our rival in an entirely optional battle. Why was this a mistake, you ask? Because he had a wheezing who likes to explode all over uh -oh. our little crowbat. <gasps> no! I don't know if it's optional if you want to go into the mark, though. I think you oh have to battle God, him if you want to go in there, don't oh, you? Crowbat was huge, but I could be we, wrong. We knew it was and it's a really good mark to go into because there's, like, all Just kinds of one. items. Only one fatality. Well, TMs I mean, are the hurt? big thing you get there. Yeah. Are we going to move on? Yeah. Yeah, we got Our Term team million. is so stacked that you would have to dome dome the entire squad before losing would even start to feel like a possibility. Yep. Our next destination was Moss Deep for the seventh gym, and before that, you had to foil both Team Aqua and Team Magnus' plans. It's not hard, it's just time consuming. Yep. The only difficult puzzle is the one that haunted my dreams when I was in third grade, but despite that, it really came down to the back. Pretend this isn't Archie. Pokemon to Gold. To Maxi, <laughs> I find it hilarious how fixated he is on Groudon. Yet still unaware of that which I already have one of mine on. is going to sweep his team, starting with. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> a Mewtwo. Oh, he's over leveled. Cool. It's fine. Sure, whatever. But it's not like he has another legendary. Oh my god! Oh, what? How? Yeah, why does this guy <laughs> think he needs Groudon? Oh my god! Uh oh, I uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I was right when I said every battle. That's pretty funny. Groudon victory, but whew, thank god it was ours. No match for the Joan Dome. Well, that was an yeah. interesting battle, huh? Yeah, Anyways, that was a pretty weird battle. And, yeah, that's Zapdos. And uh, I forgot the name of this Pokemon. <laughs> I'm so forgetful. Anyways, uh, let me know in the comments what this Pokemon's name was. Ah, silly me. Then the most tilting part of this entire <laughs> run was okay. the lack of foresight on my part since I randomized all the items on the ground. So when I should have picked up a Master Ball, that's God, no, it's not <laughs> a like Master Ball. It's a heart now. scale. And you don't need then it. As we continued our journey, <laughs> you don't need it at this point, bro. We didn't what? catch it. But now imagine if I had a Master Ball. And then we finally made it to Moss Deep. I wanted to fish within the city since it's technically a new encounter, but I noticed something strange. This random Snorlax had leftovers. In fact, every random Snorlax in the area had leftovers. Oh, man. So hypothetically speaking, if a little Murkrow would be thief pulled out time. of the box and agree to use the team for Thief, we could just farm leftovers and give one to every single Pokemon <laughs> in so our party. It's so easy now. You know, because we need it. We're not strong enough already. So yeah, I took this incredibly broken team and made them even more broken. He's ensuring he wins the this. That was full He's of like, no way. Battles. I can't no, lose this think, now. I've talked too die. much smack. I can't lose now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, it's... Wow. <laughs> you almost killed Captain okay, but Kid. What if? You know, I thought it was going to happen. <laughs> uh, okay. So new strategy. All you have to do is spam Groudon's Earthquake to jome dome the entire island, while you have Charizard, a flying yep. knight, who ignores all consequences of jome doming. After acquiring mm -hmm. another badge, we had to team up with Steven Stone to stop Team Magma yet again. But not even the former champion was immune from getting jome domed. Also, I forgot about the entire underwater cavern thing in this entire game, but I kind of mentioned it earlier with the demented boulder puzzle thing. Nothing interesting really happened here except for the fall of Team Aqua and, uh, oh, actually... Uh, perhaps the slacking one shot in my Charizard because I was using the weakest move I had for some reason. It doesn't matter. <gasps> it does matter because Flail does more damage with how low you are. <laughs> oh, this thing has Whoa. now become absolutely terrifying. That's this so is good. Stupid, and I feel bad. Charizard literally had a move that allowed him to attack every other turn, which is perfect for fighting slacking. Yep. But again. Our team is incredibly stupid strong. Mm -hmm. And as we mourn Charizard, Wonder what the, the game played the cutscene be. that made every seven-year-old in the world pop off before telling us to recruit Rayquaza. Uh, Rayquaza? I actually never learned how to pronounce it. Hey, guys. Um, could you stop? After another <laughs> thrilling motion picture, Archie and Maxi both apologize for fucking with global warming. <laughs> the heroes we needed. Yeah, they are just like, man... Maybe that wasn't great. You know what? Honestly, the biggest character growth of any team in Pokemon. They're just like, huh, maybe we are the bad <laughs> yeah. guys. And then it was maybe time to collect Maybe we are the bad guys. All oh, the ice puzzles. Match. I did it. Juan threw multiple tricky puzzles our way, but I was in control. I might have had some careless losses here and there, but they ultimately don't matter because our team as a unit is invincible. Your team is Every so ridiculous. Every battle into yeah. Groudon, and this one yep. will be no different. <laughs> He has a ground. Uh oh. Why does this keep happening? Why does everybody have jump down? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, he's bulking up. I definitely tossed that one aside, didn't I? We're faster, and I'm gonna crit right here. 
Uh oh! oh don't let the Jome Dome go down to a Jome Dome. No way, he loses. <laughs> oh my god, no! Oh my no god. shot! <laughs> oh my he lost, god. he loses! He's gonna wipe, right? Because of the bulk ups. Holy crap, I told you it'd be useful to have just in case, and now he's gonna wipe because he didn't take bulk up, oh, and it did. No. Ouch! <laughs> no. Does he this actually wipe him, with dude. this team? Awesome. We should have known that's how it goes. We die here. We die here. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's the run! <laughs> <laughs> no way! This run was nothing more than a simulation. They oh gave me my everything gosh. I could ever ask for, and I carelessly took it all for granted. Groudon is the key to any team, but Juan showed me that a Groudon spamming Earthquake is only as strong as the trainer who was telling Groudon to spam Earthquake. Yep, bulk like up, Icarus, maybe. I flew too close to the sun. Attack and, and only defense ended boost. Up with memories of a simpler time. Our team was invincible. And I'll bet everything you had was a physical I move. I am only mortal, as an army is only as strong as their general, and I regrettably let them all down. Oh man. At least, I never told a lie. Earlier I said that every battle will end with Groudon spamming Earthquake, and I was unfortunately correct, as I met the most poetic end imaginable. That's if I so to funny. In this run, it's that every move in the game will always feel stronger when it's your opponent who's doing it. <laughs> that was a good one i really like that one if you guys enjoyed my reaction to that make sure to give the video a thumbs up check out the rest of my pokemon reactions and make sure to subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next episode peace